my darlings and welcome to vlogmas day three a very very exciting vlogmas today because today it's nashville day oh my gosh so excited so by the end of this vlog i will be in tennessee <laughs> Very, very exciting. Um, so we, it's a glorious morning. It's one of those days where I really would love to be pottering around the garden, but too little time, too much to do. As you can see, suitcases are packed, not closed yet, because I feel like when you close them, from that moment on, your clothes start to get creased. So I like to leave my cases open <laughs> to aerate um, until the very last second to minimize the amount of time that my clothes are compressed. That was fascinating. <laughs> fascinating chat as always. Um, our flight is not until later on and it is Charlie's granddad's birthday today so we are going out for a birthday lunch and we're going to get to try the cakes which um, I showed you at the end of yesterday's vlog. By the way that is not my only suitcase. <laughs> I'm taking two suitcases in the hold because cold weather clothing is bulky. <laughs> anyway, I have been having a bit of a pamper this morning, my pre-holiday pamper. Didn't wash my hair because I like to wash my hair as soon as I arrive in a new destination. I feel much more fresh after a hair wash, but I have exfoliated, I have shaved, I have zapped. In fact, let's go through. There are a few little Q and A's about my Kenzie IPL journey, let's say, in the last, not the last, last week's video. Um, when I mentioned it again. So I thought I would answer the questions that you guys left. Good morning. I have to say, by the way, thank you so much for the lovely comments in the videos. You guys have just been extra, extra lovely lately and I'm very, very grateful, so thank you. Okay, questions about the IPL. That device for the lady area, <laughs> does it work all over or just the bikini line? Waxing is excruciating to me. Um, you can use it all over. I literally use it everywhere from here down. No places are off limits. And yeah, waxing, at home waxing, I just could not. Um, and also I just don't like that phase where you have to let your hairs get a little bit longer. Like for me to wax, the hair has to be like at least that long so that the wax strips can catch on it. Um, but with IPLing, you have to shave first. So you're basically always hair free, no downtime, which I absolutely love. Do I have a discount code? Yes, I do. It is still valid. JFM50 will get you $50 off your Kenzie device. Uh, Kenzie is a brilliant device. It works. I bought it after seeing, I bought it after seeing a recommended by Josie. My sister bought one as well. Good. Is the IPL device painful? So with this one in particular, you can alter the level, IPL being long-term to permanent hair removal, you start to see the results after about 12 weeks. Um, I'm at the stage now where I'm only really topping it up, so every couple of weeks, especially the bikini and the underarms, because it takes a matter of split seconds, you literally turn the device on, click, 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 click. It takes about 10 seconds per underarm a minute <laughs> for bikini area. I'm sorry, we're friends, we're all friends here. Um, and you can alter the settings, so what you can do if you do I would never use the word painful, but for me on my legs, I have it on full whack. I turn it right up to the full blast and I can feel like warmth when it zaps, but definitely not pain. Um, on any areas of skin which are a little bit more sensitive, you can just press the button and lower the intensity. It might take a tiny bit longer to get those completely hair-free results, but absolutely not painful. And especially when you compare it to waxing and epilating, then pain is just not even a factor compared to that. I've got light skin and dark hair, will it work for me? Yeah, that is literally the perfect combination because it works um, best when there is a high contrast between the skin color and the hair color. But what I'll do is leave a link down below to a very helpful chart that they have got on the Kenzie website, um, which shows if you are compatible, because if you've got super dark skin, then it may not be the best hair removal method for you. So. I'll leave that chart down below. I use IPL on my face, it's good for pigmentation. My dermatologist said it was okay too. That's amazing. How long until I will be completely hair free using the Kenzie device? That really depends person to person. I found the area that it worked the quickest was my underarms and the slowest is actually my legs. And um, 
To be honest, I very, very rarely now need to shave my underarms. It's really if I kind of forget to use this for a long period of time, like over summer, I was not very good at sticking into the habit of this. I'm better at using my IPL devices throughout the winter. But I would say give yourself 12 weeks, which is three, which is a couple of months of using this weekly. Um, and then you will definitely notice you're having to shave less or the hair will be finer. And then because you own the device, it's so easy to just keep, keep doing it whenever you feel like you need to top it up. Oops, a daisy, that's my brace. Found it. Someone has asked for an Invisalign update as well, so I'll chat to you about that. Um, but yes, I think this would be a really fantastic Christmas gift idea, so I'll leave it linked down below again. So Invisalign update, I am about to wear brace 11 of 14 of my first batch. So what you sometimes do is you'll have like a 14 week, or it varies person to person, you'll have a set number of weeks and then you will go and see your dentist and he will see or she will see if you need to have any tweaks and then you might have another set but I am so super duper pleased with the straightness of my teeth. We're starting to see these two go up a little bit more which is going to help my gums have more alignment so <laughs> sorry at the moment my top front teeth are set higher than the next ones so yeah we are nearly there and i am very 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 pleased what else do i have to report for you i don't know i'm conscious of the time this morning because we've not got a lot of it so i'm gonna get dressed and finish putting together my suitcases <laughs> Okay, hello again, my darlings. I have got dressed into, sorry, not the best way to show you, but this absolutely beautiful off-the-shoulder jumper dress from Reese. If you watched my vlog a couple of weeks ago where I did a little, a little Reese trial at the end, I did pop a little picture of this dress on the screen and I said that that was on my wish list. So here it is. I think it's perfect, the perfect mix of comfortable but also elegant for Charlie's granddad's birthday lunch um, and then of course I will be bringing it with me to Nashville so I'm just packing my can't even see it it's hidden around the corner my carry-on suitcase and I tend to put my most precious things in there because then they're always with me um, and also anything that's slightly heavier I will also be putting my jewelry in there i'm packing up my favorite pieces in this absolutely beautiful i can't remember if i've shown you this before well this is my on the go jewelry box from monica vinada this would just make the most amazing christmas gift it's so practical you've got this little section on the top here for earrings little pouches for whatever um i will be wearing my watch today but it's also really nice when we are away to have this on my bedside table because then I always know where I've put my watch, for example, at the end of the day when I go to bed. Little um, slots here for earrings and also rings. And as you can see, obviously I can't take my entire jewelry collection with me, but I've got a bit of a theme going on. I'm taking lots of my more green toned bits. Um, I absolutely, actually I might wear these today. Yeah, because I'm probably not going to wear a necklace because of the interesting neckline detail of the jumper dress. So I'll leave all of these bits linked down below. And although Cyber Week is over, I do have my very own discount code with Monica Vinada, which will all be detailed in the description box down below. The only thing about this is you have to just keep adjusting it, but I wouldn't normally be 
<laughs> fiddling around with my earrings throughout the rest of the day. Oh, these are so pretty. So these are a very wearable small hoop, just with a very delicate detail here of the green stone. And I swap out the charm that I put on it's an Astral Altar, <laughs> my Monica Vinader chain bracelet. You can just, you can open up, you could put loads of things on here if you wanted to, but each of the connectors opens up. So I'm just gonna add my green charm. I've been wearing the pearl on here so far. And then my bracelet will match my earrings. Charlie made a breakfast smoothie <laughs> with all of the fruit that was left in the fridge. I can tell he has forgotten to put in my wild nutrition powder though. And then this one here is another iconic style. Iconic? Yes, iconic style from Monica Vinader. I love the toggle clasp closure because then you can wear it quite tight on your wrist if you so desire. So this wrist, and I've gone for all yellow gold today, this wrist has got the toggle tie bracelet and then the chain just with the little subtle pendant charm there. And then to be honest, on my right wrist, it doesn't really change too much on a daily basis. My rope style bracelet, lovely, lovely, lovely. Plain bangle. I just think these pieces are so elegant. Fiji with a toggle with the diamonds. You guys will have seen this wrist cluster already in my jewelry collection video that I did during Cyber Week. And then the piece de resistance and probably my favorite bracelet at the moment is this very precious one here, which is the same kind of bangle style but with pave diamonds across the top. It really is such a special piece for Christmas gifting to put on your wish list. So special, so timeless, and just absolutely, they look so beautiful. I love how these two in particular look together. Um, another favorite pair of earrings, where is the other one? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Sorry, I've got the <laughs> camera height really bad today. Um, another favorite pair of earrings, which will be coming with me. I'll probably switch these in later this afternoon for the flight. And then I'll pop on my rings so this one just giving a nod ah, there we go to the green bits on my other hand and then this one is such a favorite such a comfortable ring to wear and i think it's really striking and you just can't go wrong with the elegance of a pearl so let's do a little stack here absolutely beautiful add my watch and we are good to go, perfectly embellished. I think having just some elegant bracelets poking out from the bottom of my sleeves is a really lovely, elegant style. So this is gonna go in my hand luggage case and I need to pack my aeroplane makeup bag as well. So I actually have a new makeup bag to unbox here from Elizabeth Scarlet. This is such a gorgeous brand. I have got a few additional pieces from Elizabeth Scarlet, which are going to be Christmas gifts. I'll give you a little sneak peek, major spoiler alert for the people that these are being gifted to, but they do the most gorgeous embroidered pouches and Elizabeth Scarlet work very closely with lots of conservation charities and you'll often see endangered species embroidered on their pouches. They are velvet. This one is actually personalized on the other side, but I don't wanna give away who it's for. So I'll just show you the last letter. Um, <laughs> but they're very, very easy to personalize and I just think a personalized gift is so lovely. And then the bag that I have treated myself to is this one here. I feel like this is just such a fabulous size for the non-liquids. For all of my traveling essentials, I'm gonna put the plastic liquid bag in this, but then also have my my makeup bits in here, my powder products, I'll have my hydrating serums, my hand spray, everything all in one place. This is just the most beautiful dark green luxurious velvet with a gold zip, little tassel detail, and then the gold embroidered bumblebees. I've had quite a few makeup bags from Elizabeth Scarlet in the past. I think that they just make for the most gorgeous gifts and they're such wonderful sizes. I love that I'll just be able to have everything all in one place. So this is gonna be very, very useful. I'm gonna pack my bits and bobs into this and then maybe on the plane later, I'll go through what is in my in-flight essentials bag. Just to quickly show you, 
the lining is waterproof as well so if you have any spillages it's not the end of the world and you've actually got these elasticated sections as well if like me you love to have all of your products in their specific place then this will satisfy the most organized of beauty bag lovers is it weird that i'm really excited <laughs> to fill this up later and wrapping wise the bags come in these beautiful little boxes which have just got the most gorgeous detail on them so that is what the little pouches that's how they come presented and then very quickly because i do need to take my cases downstairs this is the final gift that i chose in my elizabeth scarlet order it is the most beautiful set of pajamas okay i've totally given away here who these are for but again they are personalizable in this beautiful gold thread. And these have just got the most lovely, they're the most gorgeously soft pattern. And look at this elephant. It's almost like a watercolor golden beige elephant. I think they are so beautiful. And I truly think that personalized gifts, it just shows that you've popped that little bit of extra thought into your presence. I think I might have to treat myself to a pair of these as well because they're so lovely. Okay, I'm gonna wear my lovely Reese boots with the dress. Okay, my darlings, I thought I would do a little voiceover for this because the noise in the airplane was just not good for doing any kind of chatting to you. So this is my in-flight beauty routine. Everything is tucked away perfectly in my gorgeous Elizabeth Scarlet bag. Cleansing with some micellar water and I only ever use face wipes when I'm traveling, but they are pretty handy on an airplane. Now I'm gonna be using my little Oto CBD drops. These are really fantastic for traveling because they're just these individual little capsules very good for keeping your skin glowing and hydrated and they also smell absolutely heavenly. I find my lips get super dry on airplanes as well so I've got my By Terry lip balm which is super hydrating and I just thought I would tidy up my eyebrows so putting on a little bit of brow gel. This product is absolutely amazing it's from Joe Loves it's half hand sanitizer half hand lotion and it smells absolutely divine which is great on a plane and then this was a little night cream sample from Votary and it's really thick and super hydrating so I'm pop popping that on next to protect and hydrate my skin and then I think after this I just had a little nap and all the ingredients absorbed into my skin everything tucks back into my travel bag and there we go four hours left till nashville well hello again my darlings we have made it to tennessee we've just checked in to our it's not even a room it's called a cottage here at southall farm this is where we are spending our first four nights and we are just outside the town of Franklin. So we're actually not technically in Nashville. We are, Franklin is about half an hour outside of Nashville and we are just outside of Franklin. So we're kind of in the Tennessee countryside. I'm not giving you too much of a close up because I have got aeroplane face. <laughs> Nine hours on the flight um, and I was watching The Crown. I was just about to get to the Martin Bashir interview and the iPad battery died so I'm going to catch up on that later. But oh my goodness, these, they, I would call them cabins, they call them cottages, but they are, well, it is absolutely ginormous to start with. I'm going to give you a little tour. Uh, so this is our mega bathroom there's a loo in there shower in there um wardrobes and then this absolutely ginormous egg-shaped bathtub they have got naturabis um products which is a really lovely brand it's about half past six right now but to charlie and i it's you know about one o'clock in the morning so we're gonna have a dinner how are you feeling darling i'm feeling i am starting to fly a little bit yeah and we're quite peggy. this is amazing you haven't even seen this cool bit before. <laughs> there's a little kind of living room space and by the way the um uh, the reception of this hotel is seriously cool oh this little bag there and then we have got a little kitchen area there's tea and coffee making facilities my three suitcases <laughs> which i'm about to unbox what have you found darling so we, in here we already have this pretty nifty looking wood burner which i quite look forward to 
lighting later on today mm -hmm. or this evening and maybe even more light see if we can get them to light it while we're at dinner and then is this an outdoor terrace it's an outdoor terrace they've got it's got i guess these are for mozzies and stuff yeah it oh it super enclosed but oh no, goodness a stove out here as well where i can't see oh my gosh Oh my gosh, this is the coziest thing ever. How cozy is it? Well, you know, they, they organise s'mores nights for you. So we can ask them to bring up marshmallows. Cider, but that's the whole point about the warm cider is out here as well. It's so lovely. Awesome. Oh my goodness. So this is our bedroom area. And um, we've actually got a little itinerary. So there's lots of different activities you can book here. It is a farm and they're very focused on sustainability, um, growing their own produce. They've got a hydroponic farm here, which we actually drove past on the way in. Um, a production barn, greenhouses, edible garden, a jammery. I'm excited to check that out. And we have got some really fun things planned while we're here. So we've got a hike tomorrow and a picnic, roast s'mores at the fire pit. They did organize a cider experience for us tonight, but at 10 p.m. So we've asked if we can move that because I think we will be sound asleep by then. Um, we've got a farm tour on Monday, a facial, a hike on Tuesday, a sound bath and morning yoga, schmores at the fire pit again. Oh my gosh, so much to look forward to. I always think it's quite exciting when you arrive somewhere at night and then when you wake up in the morning you can really see how beautiful it is. So we are going to do five minutes of unpacking. Yeah, are you, are you showering? A very quick unpack. Okay. And then we're going to have a quick shower, are we? And then are we? Are we having a joint shower? Yeah, no. <laughs> I'll leave you to shower in peace. And then we're going to head to their restaurant for a very quick dinner and then an early night. first trial of Tennessee fried chicken. Mm. <laughs> Good. Mm. Try hot. it with the hot sauce. Mm. Mm. It's Honey. hot already? No, 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 hot as in warm. In the house made. In fact, we just made it as well. 